I made more than 4000 notes within one year. Blog notes, book notes, lecture notes, video notes, etc. Let me show you. This is Obsidian where I take all notes. All these dots are notes and ideas connected with each other. This note taking made my life better. Now I can solve problem within short time. I can spend time with my family. I can manage time to read books and I can manage time to make this video. This is the 8th video of this series Build Your Second Brain. In this video, I will show you how I make 3 types of notes on daily basis. So watch till the end if you want to make life better just by making notes. During meeting, something pops up, I write that down into a temporary log note. Walking, something comes into my mind, I write that down into a temporary note. Before bed, an idea tickles my mind, I write that down quickly. While reading an article or a paper, a realization comes into, I make a temporary note. These temporary notes are called fleeting notes. Just a reminder of what's in my brain. Because our brain is not good at holding information. In the first video of this series, Build Your Second Brain, I told this quote by David Allen, your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. The idea is to capture anything quickly. The more you capture your ideas, the less you forget and the less you feel stress. So select your fleeting note capture tool carefully. It should be fast and simple. If your tool or app takes minutes to open, then your idea will ev evaporate, right? That's why I like Keep. Google Keep as my central inbox system. First of all, it is fast and simple and very robust search engine. It also supports search from images. It has a good tagging system for organizing your stuffs. So whatever in my mind that might be links, images, text, or my thoughts, or my realization, I put quickly into it. So once I use the idea, I archive it or delete it. When I read a book, article or a paper, if something catch up my mind and I feel that it is necessary for my current project, I make a note with proper reference. This type of note is called literature note. And I remember three important tips when making this type of note. First, I write down the idea using my own words. That is crucial because my vocabulary is completely different than the author's vocabulary. And later when I will see the note, I will remember everything within short time. And again, I can use my note directly to write something else. Second, I keep the reference with my note. If I don't, I will suffer later to remember the source. Obsidian actually makes it effortless for me. So let me show you how I do it. I use an Obsidian plugin named Better Footnote. I set up a shortcut control 6. So when I press the shortcut, it actually puts the reference mark and brings the mouse cursor to paste my reference. That's really awesome, right? Third, I make this note in bulleted format and try to keep it concise and short because it is easy to read and easy to remember, also easy to understand. And most of the time, I take these types of notes inside Obsidian. Sometimes I prefer Zotero. In that case, I do not need to worry about handling the reference because Zotero keeps that automatically. If you missed my previous video on getting started with Zotero and Obsidian, please check my Build Your Second Brain playlist. So, what is the goal of making notes? Solving problem, be more knowledgeable, and express ourselves. So how can we achieve that? So building concrete idea and writing something new of our own, right? So the third type of note I take is permanent note. The name says itself, right? Now I have many fleeting notes, many literature notes. All of these notes are scattered here and there. So my responsibility is to connect all of these notes and make something new of my own. Remember, making permanent note is the only thing that counts at the end. The whole idea of making note this way is known as Zettelkasten method. 
Zettelkasten is a German word which means slip box, named after a box containing slips of paper. The person who made this popular was Niklas Luhmann. He was a German sociologist. In his 30 years of career, he published 58 books and hundreds of articles just following this Zettelkasten method and few simple habits. So, here comes the motivation part. Although I am not good at it, you do not need to actually work day and night. You just need to build a few simple habit to take note every day just like Niklas Luhmann. Remember, knowing and not doing is the same as not knowing. The only thing matter is build a habit to take notes daily. I want to say this famous Chinese quote. The best time to plant tree is yesterday. Second best time to plant tree is today. So start making notes and build your second brain from today. If you are new to my channel, I am Shubham Kordash, PhD student, Clarkson University, New York. If you find this video useful, hit subscribe and bell icon and also suggest your friend who are struggling. You could also subscribe to my newsletter, the link in the description below to get update in your email.